This is my relation. My relation. This is not my position in time. This is not my nation. No nation. I am a citizen of the world. The world. I am a boy. You, you are a girl. girl. Yo. What? I have her phone. Come back now, both of you. So. This whole time the phone's missing, and it's not missing. I'm sitting on it. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. I think I might need a shave too. <laughs> I'm doing my homework here. <laughs> what, what era do we live in? Ah, coffee so full. No. I think you should shoot. This is some real shit. I don't want to take a break. Ask me the question. Oh my god, there's nothing sweet in there. The sweetener's inside there. Woo! Now I need some assistance. Yes! Josh? <laughs> Happy, yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> Cheeky. Yeah, Cheeky can you sweet. stir yeah, that? that? Yeah, but no bees. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're stirring counterclockwise. Whoa, let that go. Let it go. Let it go. Let clock. Oh. Whoa. No, 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 no. Let, let the spoon be to get back away from the spoon. Obviously, you have no idea what you're doing. Well, you left handed. No, uh, 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 regardless of what hand you're in, the clock doesn't go in the other direction just because you're left handed, does it? No. Okay. So, in the universe, our one, you stir these things in this direction. And it actually matters. Okay. Left handed or the right, but you must learn these things. I had to learn. No coffee, just crack. So, when you see it, recognize it, don't believe it. Get that feeling and go with your gut. <laughs> you have to change your Capricorn I realize I'm a jackadoo 
about my blindness, but I can see there's no hiding in the dark. Don't give up the fight, no matter if you screw up or what, there is no time for regret. I'm the one and only man who can make me who I am. I'm the one and only man who can make me who I am. I'm the one and only man. You, you don't, you don't, you don't get to choose what's going on with you, but the, the process of what goes on with you, it leads you in the path of your life. So would I have gone to India? No. Would I have gone to fucking Senegal? My boy would have invited me, but I wouldn't have had an urgency to go. I would not have gone. Um, Germany, mm, yeah, I'd already been to Berlin, but like, I've seen some interesting parts of it. I think that whatever is going through your life and causing you to travel for especially health reasons is something that is so expensive that becomes a real cornerstone when you, the way you see things and the way you do things and the way you then go into like how you're going to develop the rest of what you're doing. It's like, I think it's almost a really good thing that like, I didn't just stay in Ibiza the whole time and just like hang out and party for the last X amount more years and just get toasted out. <laughs> just, just enjoy myself getting bigger, you know, whatever, pumping whatever, you know, like making more dough, whatever. I was like, I'm the sort of like quest for wellness because in the process, like I ended up with habits that I feel better about than what I was up to before. It's like, I'm glad I had to learn about wellness um how i had to do it mm. it's the journey but i'm glad that i got to take that trip and i think a lot of what's going on now is like people want to get on the road to doing it but they don't know how they don't know how to start they don't know they don't know about the sacrifice that it is and this is just going to go into that at the end you may or may not want to do it but at least you know it's possible On the water was a sign of coming round. People told me round about shit was coming down. War was on the minds of every boy and girl. Is it a Sunflower remix? Wondering how we're gonna save this world. Wondering how we're gonna save this world Take a look and smile Didn't stop to weep Nobody looking at each other My soul was 
not happen to be sisters and brothers Some gotta change Something that we gotta rearrange Gotta change this world And every boy and girl Gotta change this world Pork chops is the old school way. Now we're going hemp chops. Not just land, but food. Hemp. And all the things that go with it. Food's free, but you got to plant that shit. enough or you want more like Bow! that should be good <clears throat> I didn't expect anything from Ibiza until I was actually in Ibiza I just knew that there were artists living wild in the hills and that's my destiny to be an artist living wild in the hills and at the time it was like the really the the best option for what the movement I was totally in transition I just come off tour my music was popping you know it was like I was like okay Ibiza's got to be the next place never been there but I know the summer's coming up and so I was like I've got to go at least give it a shot I can 
I don't really have any money. I have enough to buy a ticket to get there. And um, I didn't have enough money to buy a ticket to get there, actually. But the friends that I was with, <laughs> they're like, we'll do gigs. <laughs> so we did some shows and then I had enough money. And uh, so I was just like, I got 90 days to go from unknown to known. If in 90 days I can go from unknown to known, I'll be able to like take my music to the next level. And that was like my only expectation, you know? <laughs> I was the only thing that I had going that I was like, if I can just make it in that window, go to enough gigs, to perform enough to let them know. And I was coming from London from this culture of like amazing artists. I mean, the guy that introduced me was like the saxophone player for Pink Floyd from the wall to the final cut. He was like Jerry Rafferty's man for Baker Street. There's a fucking huge painting of him in our bar. He was the Mac, Raph Ravenscroft. So he introduced me to everyone. So I knew that if I got that invite in, that I could actually go from unknown to known. The introduced me to Mike Manny Mission, the guys from the underground, before it was the underground. We helped make that decision together. Raf named it, you know, like, so as soon as I arrived, I was like, okay, I gotta get plugged in. And Raf helped me get plugged in. And then I was like, boom, this is a fucking sprint, a 90 day sprint. If they don't figure out who I am, I'm gonna starve to death in this bitch, but I'm kind of fat right now. I had a good summer. <laughs> I can get a bit thinner. And I just went for it. And not by accident, but I ended up on the front cover of this CD that Mixmag had put on the front fucking cover of their magazine for free. Like hundreds of thousands of copies. This shit was everywhere. It was by Smokin' Joe, her White Island Fever mix. It was the first track. So when that shit dropped, I was like, and it dropped like in July, I was like, unknown to known, your fucking song is playing in every fucking bar on the island, every little fucking place, because it was free. Everyone put it in, and boom, the first song. I was like, they know who the fuck you are, bruh. And so I just didn't stop after that. Hmm. Find all the diamonds as they shine at night. Show all the blinded that they have the sight. Take me, Spanish caravan. Yes, I know you can. Carry me, caravan, take me away. Take me to Portugal, take me to Spain. Shores of Ibiza are waiting for you. Show all the diamonds that they can shine to. What is your mission? What is your mission? What is your mission? What is your mission? What is your mission?